What if your car could be lighter than aluminium, stronger than steel, and safer than anything that came before? In 1981, Formula One engineering took a massive leap forward. Say hello to the carbon fiber monocoque. Before this breakthrough, Formula One cars were built around metal skeletons. Tubular space frames offered decent rigidity, but they were heavy and in high-speed crashes. Not exactly confidence-inspiring. Enter John Barnard, McLaren's design wizard. He had one bold vision. Build the cockpit entirely out of carbon fiber. Something no Formula One team had dared to try. The result? The revolutionary MP4-1. People called it risky until John Watson slammed into a barrier at 140 miles per hour and walked away. The carbon tub didn't buckle. It protected him like a bulletproof shell. But it wasn't just safer, it was faster. Less weight meant better acceleration, sharper cornering, quicker braking. The MP4-1 didn't just survive crashes, it outran the competition. The other teams scrambled to catch up. By the mid-80s, carbon monocoques became the Formula One standard. Today's survival cells are crafted with over 12 layers of carbon, baked under pressure like precision armor. They're built to take on 50G impacts and still protect the driver. Every seam, every fiber, engineered with one goal to go fast and come back in one piece. This wasn't just a material change, it was a mindset shift. The carbon monocoque didn't just save lives, it redefined what a racing car could be. From unproven tech to racing's unshakable core, the carbon fiber monocoque made Formula One smarter, safer, and a whole lot quicker. And that's just one idea that rewrote the racing rulebook. Stick around, because the next genius invention might just blow your mind.